I'm Caitlin from Canine Turbo Training. Today we're going to talk about cooperative care, specifically um, alternatives for nail trimming for dogs. So what we have here today is what we call a scratch board. So this is just a regular piece of wood with some sandpaper that's just duct taped on or you can use any kind of tape to keep it secure. And what this is, is you teach the dog how to scratch it using their paw on their own. So Denver already knows this, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I am going to click the second that he has completed his scratch. Denver, scratch. Good job. And then we give a reward for that, and we'll do this several times. Good job, buddy. Now Denver already knows this, but I'm going to walk you through each step so that you guys might be able to train this at home. So at first what it's going to look like, step one, is I'm going to put the board on the ground. I'm going to let him touch it. The second that he touches it, I'm going to mark him reward. I'm going to reward him back here so he has an opportunity to step back on. Then what I'm going to start to do is I'm just going to touch it so it looks a little bit different. I've lifted it up just a tiny bit, put my fingers underneath. He should hardly even process that I've made any changes. As he does this successfully, I'm going to lift it just a little bit. Upping my criteria pretty quickly. I'm going to lift a little bit more. You're going to go a lot slower with your dogs at home, give them much more opportunity to practice at each level because he already knows it, so it's going to move along pretty quickly for him. Then I'm going to move it up a little bit more. Now, at first I'm marking when they touch it. Eventually I'm going to start marking the second that their paw drags a little bit. So what's going to happen? Hold on, buddy. What's going to happen is they're going to put their paw up and gravity is going to pull their nails down a little bit. Because they've been marked for touching it, they're going to try to hold a little bit, so there'll be a little bit of pressure. I'm going to mark the second that they've got just maybe an inch of movement until their paw actually drags all the way down. So that one I marked right away. Good job, buddy. That one I just marked when it was maybe an inch. Good job. As I sit, if I sit on an elevated surface, it's going to give the paw a little bit more room to pull down. So I'll start lifting it up, putting it maybe here. So as I lift it a little bit higher, there's going to be more opportunity for that paw to drag down or those nails to drag down. And then we have a really nice alternative to clipping their nails. 